and we are back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a Nightingale Rose chart in Adobe Illustrator. There are many ways to do it, but the best way as far as I can tell is to use the Polar Grid Tool. Make sure in the view that your smart guides and snap to point only activated and then use the Polar Grid Tool. Just left click, type in a width, concentric dividers, I use 10 in this case, and radial dividers, I make that 100 for 100%. So that way you can measure that quite well even more complex ones. Let me center that. Make sure that you have a black stroke. And now you can use the Shape Builder tool. Let me swap the colors. I'll start with the yellow one. And at first I create the core. I'll just make that completely yellow. So just left click and then drag over it. So that way these cells are connected. And afterwards, you just have to count how many of these cells you want to connect. As I've said, in every concentric circle, there are 100 of these radial dividers. So when you've got, for example, 10.7%, you would have to make 1,000 of these radial dividers to have a per mil way to count what you've got here. And that's about it. For every next layer of data, you want to use a different color and then connect more of these shapes. It's the same process, so that I'm just going to speed up this video here. So when you've reached the end, of your data set, you want to get rid of the remaining shapes and you can do so with the Shape Builder tool once more. You just need to hold Alt and then left click and drag over the cells you want to get rid of. And again, I'm going to speed up this video as, it, as it's just repetitive here. Alright, this is the basic Nightingale Rose chart. If you want to add kind of like a scale to it, just use the ellipse. Go to the center, then hold Shift and Alt. Make sure that it doesn't have a fill. And then use the Type on a Path tool, click on the ellipse, and you can add your scale. Let me just use the 12 month. When you're done with it, go to your character menu, use the menu to create the right size and the right uh, spacing. If you want to create dividers, once again, using the Polar Grid tool would be a great idea. Only use as much as you have values in your scaling. So in this case, I need 12 cells. I just use the arrow keys and I hold Shift and Alt from the center position to have it placed where it needs to be. Make sure that it has a black color as a stroke. And then you can once more use the Shape Builder tool to get rid of those dividers that you don't need. So in this case, the concentric shapes. And then we're good to go. And this is how you can create this Nightingale Rose chart in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.